Welcome to episode 34 of Vampire Survivors like game in Unity. Sequential spawner and repeater spawner. Right now, if you spawn enemies, all the enemies spawn in one frame. That's okay when you spawn small groups like 5 to 10 enemies. But when you spawn large amount of enemies, let's say 100, it will cause game to freeze because of long process of instantiating large amount of enemies at the same time. To fix this, we will use something called sequential spawner. Sequential spawner will spawn one object per frame. To avoid possibility of too many objects spawning at the same time and causing a slowdown. Open enemy manager. Inside we have spawn enemy method, which we call from stage event manager to spawn enemies. And we repeat call of the spawn enemy to spawn specified amount of enemies from the event. Let's change this. In the enemies manager, create new class called enemy spawn group. It will have the enemy data of who were spawning, how many to spawn and is the spawn a boss. Make the constructor. Good. Now instead of simply spawning enemies, we will pause the group we want to spawn and save this group into the enemy spawn group instance of class. So now we need to save this class inside enemies manager. Create a list of enemies spawn group. Inside add group to spawn, check if enemies spawn group list is null. In this case, initialize the list. Then add newly created enemy spawn group into the list. Go back to the place where we spawn our enemies. Here, instead of using for loop to spawn multiple enemies, we will pass all the event parameters to the add group to spawn, to form group of enemies to spawn.
Back to the enemies manager. Because we will be spawning one enemy per frame, we can process spawning in the update. So create and call a new method called process spawn. Inside new method add exit gate in case our enemy spawn group list is null. And then, if there is something inside the enemy spawn group list, call spawn enemy. So what we essentially doing is placing enemies into queue to be spawned. So they will be spawned in succession, one after another. And after spawning the enemy, we iterate our count inside the enemy spawn group. So when the count runs out, it means that we spawned the entire group and we're done with this group. So if we launch the game now, you will see how enemies spawn in succession one after another, one by one, one per frame. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. So we have a nice spawning system for our enemies, but imagine having 60 minute long level and having to create event for each spawn. Might start to get tiresome, especially if it is a repeating event. Like imagine if you spawn 20 similar zombies every one minute. Having to create event for each of those spawn will take forever. Instead we will introduce a repeated spawn event. This event will be repeated every some amount of time. In the stage event class add is repeated event boolean and repeat every second variable. Inside stage event manager in the spawn enemy. If the current event is a repeated event, call and create add repeated spawn on enemy manager. In the enemy manager create new list called repeated spawn group list. Now let's accommodate enemy spawn group for repeating spawns. Create repeat timer time between repeats float variable and repeat count. And a new method called set repeat spawn. Pass the variables to set the values in this method. This method will set up this group 
into a repeat spawner. Our timer value will be equal to the time between spawn, so when the timer runs out it will repeat our spawn. In add repeat spawn we need to change its parameters. Instead of passing the enemy data and all of this let's pass an entire event, that will be easier and faster. And add is boss parameter, generate the enemy spawn group. And set the repeated spawn for this group. I forgot to add repeat count to set how many times you want your repeat spawner to be repeated. Add the newly created repeat spawn group into this list of repeated spawn groups. Good, so we formed the repeat spawn group and added it into the list of groups which will be spawned on repeat. So now we need to use those groups. In the update, create a new method called process repeat spawn groups. Inside cycle through all of your repeated spawn groups list and subtract time delta time from the repeat timer. If the repeat timer is less than zero, reset the timer and add group to spawn of those repeated spawns. Iterate repeat count by one. And if the repeat count is less or equal to zero, it will mean we completed all the repeats of this spawn and we need to remove this repeat spawns from the list.
Actually, using it in the for loop like this might cause an issue. We should invert the for loop to avoid possible errors. IntelliSense have a handy way to revert it is for us. But if you need, you can type it out yourself. Just type what you see right now. Instead of cycling from the beginning of the list, we are cycling from the end of the list. Good. Now we should be able to test it. Set the event to be repeated event. Oh, I forgot to pass the boss event boolean here. Now we will repeat the spawn 5 times every 2 seconds. So if we launch our game now, you will see that one event will be executed once, and then repeated 5 times spawning enemies for us. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to Stormbreaker9000 and the Sword Hashdu. With best regards, see you in the next episode.